my buddy he told me about this thing called imposter syndrome and uh, I started looking it up and it feels like something that I have which is this perpetual feeling of not being able to internalize your accomplishments um, and that's been something that's really tough for me despite like the amount of success I've had it's been hard for me to see myself as anything other than someone who got lucky or just an imposter uh, not really talented and, you know which makes me not essentially believe in myself and overthink things and um, so anyways call me back to you know, a lot of people know me as an artist who was very open about my faith. And it's just strange to have been going through and going through a season of such doubt, you know, when a lot of people look to me for hope. And I'm just like, you know, I, I feel lost right now. It was like, it was always my goal, always my dream to just uh, make a living making music, you know, something that I love. And I, I thought that if I was able to do that, that I'd be content, that I'd be happy, that I'd be fulfilled. Um, and so here I am years later, you know, able to do it full time. What's strange is it, it never really feels like it's enough. You know, I got the news that uh, one of my records went gold and it was like an exciting moment, but at the same time, it was a little scary because it's for an older record, and I just felt like, yo, does this mean that my best years were behind me? The last few years, I've been experiencing, like, a tremendous amount of doubt. Um, obviously, like, just doubt of myself, um, but also doubt of God and doubt of the things that I believe, because um, I think over time, like, as you get deeper into the rabbit hole, you start to realize, like, some things don't add up, some things don't make sense. And so I had to essentially say, I'm going to start from scratch. And I don't know if my searching for God now, after I wiped the slate clean, if I was going to find him. And that was the scariest part, because it was like, if I let go of everything that I know about God and start from the beginning, what if I just fall away from God altogether? And that has been such a foundation of my life that like that not being there was terrifying. But I still struggle right now, and I really don't have the answers. I just take it day by day, really. But if you had all the answers and everything was all good, there'd be no need for faith. A lot of people talk about their struggle when their struggle is over. You know, they talk about it in the past tense, like, oh, this happened. Now I'm fine because of, I wonder sometimes if it's because it makes them look good. But a lot of people don't open up when they're in the middle of it and, and share because it makes you vulnerable. It makes you feel like weaker than everybody else and that people will try to fix you. You know, we don't really have a lot of safe spaces to be broken. But my music is one of those places because I feel like music is a place for honesty. And if my music lets like one person know that they're not alone when they're going through things, like then I feel like I succeeded. I was out on tour and I was feeling really like anxious. I was really feeling like I was washed up. Like this is the first time I started dealing with panic attacks and anxiety and depression. And I was just like convinced that my career was over. I was like not able to create any more ideas. Like all the ideas I started, they sputtered out. Like nothing was really clicking. And I just felt like it was over. And I remembered that my wife had left me this little note, this little sticky note that said, respect your opinion. 
And I remember it was so profound to me because for a long time, I started respecting everyone else's opinion above mine. Like, I was forgetting that I had something special. And, um, like, you can't please everybody, but you can do only what you can do, and that can be enough. And I was like, yo, this lyric that kept on coming to mind, I ain't done as long as there's breath in my lungs. Like, that thought that if you're still alive, there's still hope for you because you can do something about whatever you want to change. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to make this song for me. And if nobody else likes it, that's fine. I like it. And I'm just going to have fun again. I ain't done. I ain't done. I ain't, I ain't done. As long as there's breath in my mind. Just came out of the winter. I just came out like a winner. Had a breakdown, could have stayed down, figure. Rather die trying than to live like quitter. Yeah, my problem big, but I know God way bigger. What you expect? Once you level up, once you know the boss is bigger. Yeah, you just spend a lot of time daring myself. Then I spend a lot of time comparing myself. Turn into the doubt, then I fear of myself. Overthink it to the point I wasn't pairing myself. I don't know why Spell went missing. Now I know why Brick got the clip. Now I know why Ye started tripping. The pressure and the expectation get you. Eh.